Welcome to the Human Development and Leadership Webinar Short Take Series. This clip is one of four short takes from an October 2016 webinar on leading through generational conflict. Information on our speakers, Carol Ann Wolfgang and Marilyn Monda, can be found at the end of the clip. Just pause on the slides to read their bios and contact information. Take a minute to give us some feedback by commenting on the hdnlmyasq.org community page. We want to know what you think. So one of the things I've noticed when I do start training about conflict is some people see it as, um, as leadership where there's a myth of, well, you have to be a nat you know, you're a natural or you're not. You're a natural leader. I've heard a lot about in the negotiation um, area also about, well, you either can do it or not. And, and so, but the truth is that actually we can learn it. We can learn it if we practice it. And we can get better on nego in negotiation and, and dealing with conflict. And so that's the first point that I wanted to bring up on, on this slide, is that you can learn how to get better at it. And I would say for you know my personal journey, oh, I've been trying for, I don't know, 20 years, maybe when I first started realizing as a scientist I wasn't trained enough in this area and that I needed to uh, have more training and started my journey as I call it then. Um, and I have certainly now realized that yes, I do deal better with it. it. This works if you practice. And how the second point on the slide is about learning how to execute dialogue differently. And that's yeah, training um, like we're doing, experiencing and being really self-aware of the conflicts, of the stereotypes, and then practicing. These things are part of what Marilyn and I are calling a roadmap through conflict, and we're going to um, really show that this is a process. It's it's we're on a on a journey on this road, and uh, and especially if you're a quality professional, you relate to this as a process thinker anyway. How you deal with conflicts in the in between the generations? After doing a lot of the research, we realize it's the same as how you deal with any conflict. And so, one of the things about this slide we're talking about: can we move past these stereotypes that are really ingrained? We submit to you that yes. Uh, now there are what we call intractable conflicts. And uh, those are just deep, deep, long-standing conflicts. Okay, but but for us in the workplace, we consider that generally we'll be able to get over these stereotypes as we learn about them, uh, become more self-aware, and and practice. Uh, and I can say that since we've been doing the the well, the messages that Marilyn has been showing, and since we've been doing this research on stereotypes, I've become really aware of in my own workplace of stereotypes that I have or that I see. So it's quite interesting that just this brief research and learning has helped me in my own workplace environment. And I'm sure as you leave this, you'll find that yourself. Uh, so understanding um, generational differences um, and those options. So that's, that's what we've just been talking about, understanding the differences, the options that you have for engaging in conflict. Um, Committing, okay, uh, well. I'm sorry, uh, I, I didn't mean to advance that, pardon you me. You have a trigger finger this morning, you're really awake. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. Tell me um, Committing to not having these impact your workplace experience. So we see that this makes a huge difference, right, to begin on this roadmap and this journey. Uh, learning the conflict styles and how you can personally grow and gain insight. Conflict is um, well, we have a slide coming up that shows the, the issues with conflict and how we feel about it. None of us really like it, right? Um, but it's such an area, it's an opportunity, an area for growth and insight about ourselves. Um, we talked about building the roadmap as a piece of moving past stereotypes and going on this journey for conflict exploration. 
prep and respond with a plan. So again, as most of us are in, in the workplace and professionals, we're, we love planning. We do that a lot. This is just one other area where uh, we can use this plan prior to a conflict or prior to really going into a conflict that will um, end up being a very positive experience for you and practicing, as we'll mention throughout um, this webinar, practicing conflict and collaborative negotiation tools. 